In this video, we're going to learn how to embed our more assignment into a quiz. So let's just see what we've done so far. We have set up Lockdown Browser. Then we created a sample quiz. And then we linked this quiz to Lockdown Browser. And then we imported content from more. So now the first thing we want to do, we don't want students to be able to access these assignments. So notice this little rocket thing stands for quiz for some reason. So this is a quiz and we our lockdown browser is only in quizzes. These are assignments and we can't access these with lockdown browser. So these, uh, the when I imported these, they automatically put them in here. They're also in assignments, and this means assignments is hidden, and you want to keep these hidden. Okay, if you're using for Canvas for something else and they can't be hidden, then you're going to need to find a way to make this hidden. So if we go into assignments, okay, uh, notice that these are also in here under default. Okay, so now let's go back to that main page and we're just going to delete this imported content. Okay. Now I am going to make this, let's make this the midterm. So now I'm going to go back into this assignment and I'm going to click on the college math midterm. I'm going to click continue. Okay, so I want to get this web address for it. Okay, so I'm going to copy this address. Now there's a few things I want to do here. First, I want to allow this address in Lockdown Browser for the quiz assignment. So I'm going to go back to Lockdown Browser in my sample quiz settings. Let's see where it is. Oh, here it is. So it's under advanced settings, allow access to specific web domains. So I'm going to put the address of the assessment and put a comma. Uh, there was actually two other things I wanted. Hold on. So I also had, I have two links right here that they could click here and I'm also going to put them in my introduction. Once you start a more assignment, those top links disappear, but I like to have them there anyway. So it was a, the TVM calculator. So I'm going to copy this address and put that in my list. And we'll just do that for now. I'll leave the formula sheet out. Okay. Uh, so access code, let's go with giraffe. So what we have done is added the address of the assess assignment, the Canvas assignment, and that calculator I want them to use to the Respondus settings. I also added this access code. I think I have about three access codes now, but we'll look at that in a minute. And I'll scroll down and I'll put save and close. And remember, this is the part where you sit here and then you remember, aha, it already worked, but it didn't show me that. Okay, so now I'm going to go back home, scroll down to the bottom, and I'm going to open this exam. So this sample quiz, I want to make this, I want to label this midterm and uh, put that link in it. So first, edit. I'm just going to change this to... 14x midterm. Okay. Uh, now I usually put a lot of instructions here. For now I'm just going to leave this blank. Okay, but you can put anything you want in here. Notice it also has a math equation editor. Okay, now I'm going to go to the questions. Okay, so I had called it sample question. You click this little pencil to edit it. And again, I usually put more information but I'm going to put first open the TVM calculator link. And I'm just going to go grab that link again. Okay. 
Uh, now, after they, uh, I'm going to put the link to the assessment next, but I have a password on that and I want them to have the password uh, here. So I'm going to say, I believe the password I have set for this is yellow sky, no spaces, open this midterm link and enter the password to begin. Okay, and here's my midterm link. So now I'm going to save this. Oh, first this is the question, update question. Sometimes I hit save before I do that by accident. So I updated the question, then I hit save. Now let's just see what the student would see, not through Lockdown Browser, but just in general. If I click Preview, okay, um, there would be instructions up, more instructions up here if you had them. Uh, first open this link okay. and in lockdown browser it opens in a new tab and then they would go back okay. and then they click on the midterm link it tells them the time limit I have this time limit set in more remind you of the time limit and if I was in here as a student it would have me enter that password okay now, just a few more things we want to be careful of. So now, this assignment is blocked, so they can't see the assignment except through Lockdown Browser, and then the quiz, and then the link. So that's all good. Another place, and this is what we call our, our blueprint for Scottsdale Community College. I don't know if any other schools are going to use this. But another place where they show links to assignments is in Syllabus. And we're required to have syllabus. Uh, oh, there's something not here. Okay. So notice it has this course summary, and this has all of these things here. Let me click edit. Ah, there it is. I knew it was there somewhere. Okay. So if you click edit on syllabus, we need to have our syllabus information. But if you unclick show course summary and update it, okay then the student won't have that secret link here that goes to the assignment, so they won't be able to, to view it. I highly suggest having a password on the assignment itself just in case it pops up somewhere, but I think we figured out all the places it could be. Okay, so uh, now your, your quiz is all set. Let's go back to this first page. I'm not going to show you this in Lockdown Browser, but I'll give you information so you can do that yourself. So in general, if it was in Student View, right now they can see the exam. They don't have the Assessment tab, so they can't see that. If you go to Syllabus, it doesn't have it listed there, so that's good. Okay. And if they try to click on this directly from canvas they think everything's good they click take the quiz and then it says no you need lockdown browser okay so they'll need to access lockdown browser and again I'll just show you where that here's the icon that I have on my main desktop okay so they'll need to go through this which will take them to canvas they'll open their canvas course okay and then when they click on when they click when they click on the quiz it will allow them to open this and they'll have to enter the necessary passwords. And I highly suggest when you, um, after you have this all set up, practice it yourself both as faculty or administrator of this. So I'll leave student view. Okay. Uh, so try this just uh, not in the student view and then also try it in the student view so you can see exactly what your student sees. Um, the grades will actually record in your original Moore course, um, and for you, when you're in student view, it'll show up as test student.
Okay, and then for your students, they don't need to sign up for the more class or anything. Their names will just um, be exported from Canvas with their grades for the assignment, and you'll also see all of their assignment information. I uh, hope this was helpful. Please feel free to email me or contact me if you have any questions.